Hello and uh, welcome. Um, my name is Jay and uh, I'm with uh, Vemus uh, Solutions. Today we're going to be talking about Office 365 Thin Client and Outlook 2013 mail configuration. So uh, step number one is to ensure that you open up Office 365 uh, online, verify the username and account. So just uh, sign in here. I'm just using a test account to um, for the demo purposes today and hopefully I remember the right password. Um, there we are. I always recommend to people to not say passwords online for security. So uh, step number one is going to be to make sure that the username and password are working correctly. And uh, there's my online profile. So I'm going to move this and snap this to half of the screen. Uh, I want to take the opportunity to uh, remind folks that Outlook 2013 is a little different and uh, you're going to end up with two map profiles both in the mail and the mail 2013. This is going to be important for troubleshooting purposes. Today um, we're connecting to a computer that's never had a mail, mail map profile created before. So just launching Outlook 2013 it's going to prompt you for the new user dialog box. So here we are. Um, do you want to set up Outlook to connect to an email account? Of course, that's why we're here. And essentially all you need to do here is um, put in an email address. Ensure that you put in a, a username and of course the password. It's much more simplified than in the past. Um, all the settings are going to come down from Microsoft Online. It's going to know that by the domain name. So it's uh, connecting to Microsoft, retrieving the information, and in 20 seconds, 30 seconds, you'll be uh, uh, fully connected and with a local profile created. So a lot of people ask me, why do we need to have a fat client profile, especially after Microsoft's worked so hard to ensure that the Think Client online experience is available anywhere, anytime um, with a rich, what they call a rich experience. And the reason is that uh, there are times when you need a fat client, for example, maybe you like to work offline while you're traveling in an airplane, you want to catch up on emails, read them, reply, when you connect back, uh, you'll have a full access uh, when you're offline you'll have full access to your email and all of those sent items will be pending as soon as you connect they will automatically send another reason is that you can customize the view so uh, you know maybe you want to open up the inbox maybe you want to open up um, a specific folder every time that you open up or you want to create fancy notifications maybe your administrator or uh, admin assistant um, since you import an email, if, a, if you receive an important email, uh, you can then make it sound like a doorbell or, or some, other, some other special sound from your uh, system library. Um, and finally, one of the things that I, uh, I do have some feedback from people is that the fat client experience is more familiar, especially for some Mac users. Um, it, it, it changes less than using the online version. So here we are on the right hand side we have the fat client experience on the left hand side we have the thin client experience. Essentially what, what, what happens here is it's going to be a very similar um, a, a very similar experience. We're going to create a new email. Uh, the, the nice thing is that if we set things out properly, every time that we um, every time that we uh, send an email or receive an email or make any changes on one side of the equation, either side, thin or fat, it's going to be reflected um, everywhere. So you can see here changes uh, reflected um, in both uh, systems. So I'm sending myself an email um, and you will see that I get it both in my inbox um, You'll get it both in my inbox. You can see it that uh, I have received it there in the um, in the online system. I'm just going to open it up. Uh, you can see that I received an email there as well. 
um, so I received it in the fat client, I received it in the thin client, and if I delete it from the thin client by clicking on the X here, it's also going to delete it from the thin client as well. Now that synchronization is pretty quick, but not instant, so it's about uh, 30 seconds delay be behind the two. Um, notice that it just deleted it from the thin client. Now the same thing goes along for your mobile device. You create a profile on your mobile device and all three thin, fat, or mobile device profiles are synchronized and maintained by Microsoft. Um, last point to make is that if you have a fat client, you should avoid using a PST. PST is the only thing that, the only files that are permitted to a fat client only and prevent you from having true mobility because if you move emails to a PST, which is a, um, a historical uh, method of using uh, um, <clears throat> Outlook offline, uh, it's going to tie you into that one computer device. The whole intent with Office 365, email anytime, any place. Thank you for uh, our little uh, tutorial. Uh, this is uh, Jay with Vima Solutions. If you like, you can just find us online at uh, vimas.ca. Thanks.